This single football cost £130, which is more than some people pay for their entire Sunday league kit. You can buy a replica ball at Sports Direct for 25 quid, and they look almost identical. So why does the official match ball cost 400% more? If they fly the same, you're getting scammed. So what are you actually paying for when you buy the pro version that you see on TV? You aren't paying for air and rubber. You're actually paying for the FIFA quality pro certification. To get this stamp, the ball has to survive a laboratory torture chamber. It's fired against a steel wall 2000 times at 30 miles an hour to test shape retention. It's then submerged in water and compressed 100 times. If it absorbs more than 10% of its weight in water, it fails. Estimates put the actual manufacturing cost of the materials, the synthetic leather, the bladder, and the thermal bonding at around 15 to 20 quid. The rest of that 120 quid price tag pays for the massive R&D teams, the wind tunnel testing for the aero sculpt grooves, and the Premier League licensing fees. You're essentially buying a piece of aerospace engineering that just happens to be kickable. Drop in the comments what's the most you've ever spent on a single piece of gear.